What's going on, sports card collectors? It's a Monday night. The wind is blowing in upstate New York. We've got below zero wind chills on the rise in here. And they're talking about possible power outages. We're here to discuss grading cards. I've seen a lot of forums because everybody's announcing their price increases. GMA's going up. PSA's going up. SGC's going up. We don't know about HGA, we don't know about CSG or Beckett, but I would assume they're all going to go up. And some people are upset because GMA went up and it was a cheap way for them to slab their personal collection. I get it. But at the end of the day, the sports card world will continue to go on and those that can afford it will and those that can't will move on. Unfortunately, that is just the way it is. The loyalist of the loyalist will continue to go with who they go with, regardless of the price. Just maybe not submit as much as they normally do. And let's take a look at that, shall we? First off, if you haven't subscribed, why don't you go ahead and click down below and subscribe. It's free. Give us a like also. That definitely helps us out. And follow us on Instagram also, KB Sports Cards. Uh, so what I have here is, um, I have them, all of them across here. So... Beckett, I went and checked on their economy. They're eight plus eight plus months for turnaround time. Um, but right now, Beckett, if you want economy, it's $35 a card. If you want standard, it's $50, $50 a card. You can get it with no subgrades, but most people get it with the subgrades. So uh, there's your prices on those. Uh, it's, you know, you're going to pay $20 or $35 is your uh, lowest Going all the way up to premium at two fifty a card. Oh, let's bounce around. HGA, excuse me, HGA, uh, the new new kid on the block, and they are ten days, one to nineteen cards, fifty five dollars a card. If you want it, uh, twenty to forty nine cards, it's fifty dollars a card, fifty plus forty five. If you want it back in 30 days, 1 to 19 cards is $35 a card. 20 to 49 is 31 and $27 a card for 50 plus. And the best value is 60 days at $20 a card. So not too shabby. If you go with the best value, get it back in two months at $20 a card. Um, and they're limiting their orders. So if you can get in, that's great. If you can't, you're still waiting regardless. CSG um, comic books has got into the sports cards world and here we are bulk 50 card minimum maximum card value hundred dollars at eight bucks a card 60 days uh, if you're submitting up to five hundred dollar max value it's fifteen dollars a card you're getting it back in 40 days Standard, if you have a max value up from anywhere from 501 to 1000 it's $25 a card and a 25-day turnaround. Express, up to 10000 values, $40 a card with a 15-day turnaround, and then walkthroughs, $50,000. Of course, I guess if you're the one that sold that 101 Luca for $4.6 million, you don't mind spending uh, $100 plus um, for a five-day turnaround or two-day turnaround, so... That's CSG, uh, PSA. Um, they've suspended their fifty dollar economy. They've suspended their looks like they suspended their turnaround times. Impacted under hundred dollar regular. Their economy services suspended. Their express turnaround times impacted. So value up to four ninety nine. Ten card minimum is twenty dollars a card. Uh, yeah, so I've always found PSA, unless you get in with a group, kind of confusing. Uh, but they've suspended, service suspended, try regular value or quarterly grading specials. So regular value, you have to do a minimum of 10 cards at $20 a card, $200 with a maximum declared value of $4.99 per card. So that's where PSA is at. But that's going up tomorrow. So uh, I'm releasing this a day early. Uh, so you can compare it now, but tomorrow it's going to be different. Um, SGC, they are, I can tell you personally, they're $15 a card right now, but they're going up. So, uh, let's see. 
three holders. Oversized. Right here. Declared value, $500 or less. It's $15 a card. And their approximate turnaround times is 65 to 70 days. 15, between $501 and $1,500, it's $35 a card. So $15 is not too bad. Uh, of course, GMA announced their new prices. Seven-day turnaround time, fastest service, 20 bucks a card. But seven days. You got guys that are doing 20 days for 65 to 60, 60 to 75-day turnaround. So they're saying seven business days for their Gold Express. Um. Your eight dollars a card for your regular cards, um, six dollars for bulk for a hundred plus, and it does not say what their turnaround time is. It doesn't say it all on here. So, jersey cards are six bucks. Regular cards for your uh, bulk, six dollars per card. Autograph. So yeah. Uh, let me go back to their main page. It'll tell me their current turnaround times. It says 50 business days. So uh, there you have it. You know, everybody's changing. Um, frustrating, yes, because a lot of people went with GMA because it was a cheap price for your personal collection to slab it all up. However, I would offer the suggestion of, you know, if it's that much of a big deal, uh, and just put them, and I'm not trying to be offensive, and I'm not trying to be smart. Why not grab, this is a scratched up one, why don't you grab a one-touch and put your card in a one-touch and then put it in a card sleeve plastic and protect it that way. Uh, I think I got one here. Here, here we go. Uh, that's not the one I was looking for, though. I still can't find it, but, you know, I have this David Robinson. This bag's too small for it, but I have it in a plastic anyways to keep it from getting scratched up. Um, and it's not graded that way, but it's at least it's protected in a <clears throat> plastic case. So, like I said, not trying to be a smart aleck, not trying to be rude or mean. I'm just offering suggestions. There's a lot of feedback out there. There's a lot of nitpicking going after people, too, which is just ridiculous. Come on, guys. It's a hobby. We're supposed to have fun. It's okay to be upset because of you were used to one thing and it's okay to be okay with it in your own opinion and not have a problem with the price rise. Don't don't start bashing people. Um, you know, if someone says, well, I can't go with them anymore because it's just too much. That's not what I'm doing. That's their personal, their personal finances. I mean, Listen, if everybody had unlimited funds, it wouldn't matter at this point, right? It wouldn't matter if they updated their, their costs or their price. We, would, we just wouldn't care. The fact of the matter is, is there's a wide range of collectors out there from kids to young adults to older adults that are still collecting out there. And I'll, I'll be honest with you. When I first heard about grading cards, I'm like, why would I want to spend money to get my card graded and put in a piece of plastic when I already bought the card? Um, I, I thought... Um, back in the beginning, when I first heard of grading cards, that that's stupid. I'm not sending my cards to somebody to put them in plastic slab. Um, let me know. So uh, obviously that's changed because I grade my cards. But you know, let, let's keep things in perspective, guys. Um, grading cards has definitely changed the way we collect cards. It's definitely changed the way we buy and sell cards. Uh, I still sell raw, and I sell. There's James Wiseman. I, I still sell um, graded cards. Um, but be honest, you know, when I see people post that back in 2018, they were taking their kid to the Walmarts or the Targets and you had your choice and selection of cards to buy at an affordable price. And now you got to go searching around to these places to see it looks like the shelves have never been restocked for at least the last year, year and a half. Um, and then when you go to buy them online, you're getting raked for a box of cards, a blaster box that you might have normally paid $19.99 in a Walmart or Target. And now you've got to pay over $100. Bucks. Um, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the card market industry has exploded. So don't get me wrong. I mean... I like to make money off of cars just as much as anybody else, but in the same token, I, I do feel bad for those that are just in it for the personal collection, and you've got to pay a lot more extra now. 
Um, you know, I, I don't see a whole lot of people offering to trade um, unless you know the person. You know, me personally, if somebody went and contacted me and said, hey, I'd like to trade this card for this card, um, I would be hesitant Only the fact that if I didn't know you that well, how do I know if I send my card out, I didn't get scammed. Um, unfortunately, that's just the way things are with the with the long distance instead of the face to face trading. But um, I mean, I hate to think that way too. But it, at the end of the day, guys, is we just gotta keep in mind this is everything that goes up in price affects everyone in a different way. I mean, just plain and simple. So if someone runs to rant because GMA upped their prices yet again, and I personally would have liked to see GMA. Um, come out with their new price, um, their new prices when they released their new logo on their slabs. Um, to have another price increase and still have the old logos, knowing that there's going to be new logos, uh, to me, just uh, it's selfish in my part, in my thinking, not my part, in my thinking. Um, and that's not to take anything away from GMA. Allen's been great, he's been transparent. Um, SGC. You know, that's been my go-to company right now. I've been holding off on GMA because I am waiting for the new slabs. PSA, um, <clears throat> you know, I just listed um, a couple Donovan Mitchell PSA graded cards. Um, there's some people that have commented, PSA slabs don't do anything for me. And listen, guys, I'm not bashing PSA because I have PSA graded cards. I have BGS, I have SGC, I have GMA, I have even a five-star training. So, my whole point is is to each is his own. PSA slabs don't do much for me. So to tell me to pay thirty or fifty dollars a card um is just pointless to me when I don't care for the slabs. Now what do I get really excited about? I get excited about the SGC tuxedo black, and again, not every card looks good in the tuxedo black. I understand that. Um, I do kind of like the BGS slab, especially with the subgrades. Um, the HGA kind of has taken my appeal. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Every time I do a video, I yawn. HGA, I'm not sold yet on them. I'm going to give them a little bit. Um, CSG, CSG, I know some people have commented, how can you let a company that's big on comics grade your cards? I don't know. They might actually have the upper hand, to be honest with you. Um, because if they start pulling people from some of these other grading companies to their company to grade the cards, and they already have a niche in grading comic books and, and uh, uh, you know, the gaming cards and so on and so forth, then that might not be all that bad. And then there's the Canadian company Mint, I believe it's MNT, and people have been promoting to give them a try as well. So. There's a lot of graded companies. Excuse me. It's it's no longer the big three anymore. It's no longer PSA, BGS, and SGC. It's just not. Uh, people need to come to terms. People need to come to terms, too, that, well, I'm stubborn. And if I have a GMA or an SGC or a BGS or an HGA and it's a 9 or a 10, and PSA is supposed to set the standard for price, you better believe that's the price I'm looking for. And don't tell me because you're never going to get it because PSA is the value. If PSA is the guideline and there's a 9 or a 10, then my 9 and 10 with a different company is going to be right there with that guideline. Sorry, just the way it is. I'm stubborn. You want to buy it and re-slab it? Go ahead. But if you look at their grading services and their styles, they're all pretty close in how they grade. Um, I've cross-graded cross -graded some cards. Excuse me, from G of A to SGC. And have gotten equivalent or I may have gotten maybe a half a grade below. Um, so PSA, I've cross-graded a PSA to a GMA and actually got about the same, or GMA did come out a little bit higher. I've also done the reverse, where I've seen the GMA go to PSA and get the same grade or a little bit less. They're close, okay? So I'm going to be stubborn. I am. I, I realize that, let's say, for instance, it's a Luka Doncic prism, and it's a PSA 10, and I'm just doing a guideline. I know this is not exact, but let's say PSA 10 is $1,200, 
you better believe I'm going to be getting around 11, 1150 for a GMA SGC. I am. I just am. No, it wasn't the 1200, but I've got to be pretty darn close right in that ballpark. And that's just the way it is for me. I'm stubborn. For those of you who aren't, that's fine. There's other cards I'm not as stubborn on. I just look and see, all right, I'm $35 all in on this card. Well, I'll give you for example. I just sold a card uh, yesterday. I'm $35 in on it. That's bought, graded, and shipped back to me. This is an SGC9, and I sold it for $195. I'm perfectly fine with that. Could I have gotten a little bit more? Probably, but I was perfectly fine with $195. That was a pretty good turnaround for me because I sold it in less than 24 hours from when I put it on. Those are the gold mines. So, guys, I appreciate you listening to me rant and rave. I just wanted to clear some things up. We got to stop being so harsh on each other. It's the grading companies that have gotten us by the kahunas. Because if you're a loyalist to whatever company you want to say you are, PSA, BGS, GMA, whatever, and they up their prices, but you're that loyalist, they got you by the cojones, and you're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. And at the end of the day, you're going to want to do it. You just might not ship as many cards to them like you used to. So I'm just saying, stop getting on each other's nerves. Realize it's the grading card companies that are starting to, to pit us against each other. Let's all enjoy the hobby and find out a way to get some of these prices down so people can rip packs and not have to watch them all the time. And it's an affordable cost. So, guys, I appreciate it. Don't forget to give us a follow. Give us a like. Subscribe. All of that is free. It doesn't cost anything, but it certainly does help us out. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Matter of fact, I better announce it now before I forget. Uh, what are we in March? The end of March. Uh, we're going to do a giveaway. So let's go March. Um, today's the first. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just going to go look at my calendar here real quick. Let's go. We're going to do a giveaway on Saturday, March 27th. We'll call it our March Madness giveaway. March 27th. Let everybody know. I'll put the details down below. But you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then you need to comment in the in the down below on this video. You need to comment done or comment. You just need to comment. I don't even want to do word done. Give me a comment. Make sure you follow and subscribe to us. I will check to that. Okay, and we're going to be giving away. This is an empty box, but I have a sealed NBA hoops blaster box. I actually have two of them, but I'm going to give away one of these sealed, brand new, never opened, March 27th, March Madness giveaway. You just have to be following us or subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment on this particular video, and we will do the drawing. Yes, so you better share it with people. The more, the merrier. If I get enough response, maybe I will kick in two NBA hoops, blaster boxes, two winners but right now we're just going to do one it will be sealed wrapped all everything in package never opened um i will be doing that giveaway march 27th march madness giveaway you just subscribe to our youtube channel and then you comment down below on this video here so as always guys stay safe stay healthy and enjoy the hobby